people are starting to question the fairness of our justice system. And you can't raise those questions without asking who is the top prosecutor in that particular jurisdiction. Brooklyn District Attorney Ken Thompson has died of cancer. Ken was known as an effective, aggressive civil rights leader and a national voice for criminal justice reform. I'm someone who was raised by a mother who was one of the first women, black or white, to go on patrol in the history of the New York City Police Department as an officer in the 70s. And so I am as law enforcement as anyone else. But I also believe in my heart that it's important to be fair and to do justice. This is the third largest district attorney's office in the country in size. I have nearly 1,200 employees and over 500 prosecutors. And so what I have to do is to make sure that all my prosecutors understand my philosophy, which is our duty is to do justice and empower them to make those decisions in their individual cases, for them to know that the goal is not just to convict, but to be fair and to make sure that the person that they're prosecuting belongs in the criminal justice system. And so that means that the law must be applied equally to all people, regardless of race, regardless of how much money you have or don't have, or where you come from, or where you live. It's that simple. There has to be people who are willing to join this justice system and reform it from within. But I think that everything rises and falls on leadership. And I think as a leader of the Brooklyn DA's office, I'm determined to make sure that my prosecutors do justice in the courthouse in this borough. And hopefully we could create a model, not just for the city, but for the country, to see a DA's office that believes in fairness while at the same time keeping people safe. I think too many prosecutors sort of go along with the program. And that's why we have more than two million people in prison. And someone has to say, no, I'm gonna take a different approach. I'm gonna go down this road. I may be criticized, I may be condemned by certain quarters, but this is the right road to take because it's the road of fairness and it's the road of justice.